welcome back in today's video i am going to show you the upgraded version of our previous fee management system what feature we have added in this version i will tell you so same we have our admin and staff login in this web application but what features we have added first of all in our manage students we have added the class section so now in this version we have a facility to uh, we have a facility of class wise student fee management system okay so the next update is we have added a copy a csv and pdf download files for example if you click on this copy so all of the students are successfully copied and uh, if you click on the csv so your csv file is successfully downloaded next upgrade we have added from date to this date data filtration for example if i want to filter data from this date to this date and click on this filter so now you can able to see uh, we have uh, this data in this particular date and also we can apply um, uh, again the same features which is available in our previous version uh, the same uh, features and here we have added a clear filter button so now you can up, uh, clear your filters and you can see all of your data so here you will see the bar chart fees paid by date the line chart fees rent and paid versus unpaid fees okay so the next update we have added a class dashboard which i explain you we have added a class wise data filtration so now you can see here uh, you can able to see all class distributions the c101 the c102 the c201 the c200 basically this is a class and now here you can uh, available uh, options of select month for data filtration and when you click on this filter so now you can able to see uh, the all classes data filter when you click on this filter icon so now you can able to see the fees paid line chart and the total unpaid versus fee paid okay so if uh, you can also see so you can also able to see which students have paid the fees and which students have not paid the fees yet okay for example if i am going to select the c101 and the month for the january and click on this filter so now you can able to see only two students in this class we have and also the both are paid the both students have paid their fees you can also filter if you have a, a large amount of students you can simply search your students from here so we have also added this functionality in our this fee management system next system is the due fees so now you can overview the class wise filtration for example the class 101 in your class 101 the total students are two and the student fees is this but it has paid this okay so the student uh, fees is this the due date is 24 uh, the due is 24000 but paid is 4000 okay so also you can able to search if you have a large amount of data and if when you click on this all classes so now you can see here the total fees is this the total paid is this and the total due amount is this and the fully paid students is only one what is the fully paid students this is the fully paid students which have uh, paid their full fees okay so many of our viewers have in this video new so i will explain you now all these things step by step for example, uh, you can see here in my Google Sheet, I have added a drop down functionality. The drop down functionality, what does this drop down sheet mean? You can add the session, the trade, the fees, and the payment drop down options where it works. So now you can see here in my session, I have a drop down for selecting. Before in previous version, we can add it manually. And also the trade we can add manually in our previous version, but we have added now the drop down functionality and the fees type. We also have added the drop down functionality. So many st many schools, many institutions have different kind of functionalities, different kind of options, so they can easily add here without doing the coding in our coding section. Okay, so now you can hear also how you can pay the fee in our student data like in our like our previous version like our previous web app uh, version the c36 you can simply copy this student id and just paste it here and click on this search icon so when you click on this search icon so now you can able to see the date the month current month and the session the student name the father name and the fees type and the card automatically fetches okay you just simply 
enter the 500 rupees fee so now you can see here your amount will be calculated in words automatically and you need to enter add to your transaction id so in our database in our database we have a fee for this student uh, for the month of the february already have it can the system cannot uh, help me to send this data to the database again because the month for fee for this month is already paid okay so if i am going to select this and change my month to march and click on this 20 and cl now click on the save receipt so now you can able to see i have successfully submitted my fee so if i want to track all the older payments for the student id the payment history means the uh, all the previous records so now you can able to see i can check the first payment made on this date the second on this date and the third on this date so if you want to fetch data from the google sheet you simply just need to click on this get so now you can able to see all the data is successfully fetched and be able to see in your free slip okay so now the managed students in our managed students we have uh, added a leave auto a leave blank to auto generation okay what it does it means for example if i want to add a, a session 2023 and the welding and the student name is this and the father name is this and the institution is this and the class is c002 and the fees is 4500 and click on this add student so when i click on this add student so now you can able to see the student id is automatically generated okay so i just copy this and paste it here and click on this search icon when i click on this search icon and go to the slip so now you can see here the student i have added the information is loaded successfully so go to in our analytics so now you can see here we have total seven students the paid students only four and the unpaid students is this okay so again you can see here you can filter the fees like exam if you want to filter the only the exam fees so now you can filter if you want to only other fees you can simply uh, select on the filter so now you can able to see in the class dashboard we have our all classes feature and all months and a paid only or unpaid only features as well and click on this filter so now you can see here all the data all the fee system and the line trends are available here due fees in our due fees again you can see here you can analyze the students uh, for example i am going to right now the fully paid student is one i am going to pay fee for this student uh, from my uh, uh, staff login okay so i am going to log out from here successfully and uh, check in my login sheet so now you can see here we have a user uh, with this id and we can just simply enter the username and the password and click on this sign in so when i click on the sign in so now i am logging as a staff as a user so i can only able to see the uh, slip i can only able to add the slip all uh, old records and download video simply the functionality we have so i just simply click on this uh, id and click on this search icon so now you can see here the all the students information has successfully been fetched i enter my transaction id and the 4500 is the fees amount and now the fees is the exact uh, the fees is the library and the card and click on this save receipt so when i am going to click on this save receipt so now you can see here the fee is successfully submitted i click on this view all the slips and now you can see here the payment is history is automatically come so i just log out and log in as a admin now so when i, I log in as a admin again so now you can able to see in our due fees we have two fully paid students because you can see here the fully paid student is this the paid amount is 4500 no remaining so this student have 500 remaining this have minus 5500 this have because we we need to give this student so this have 24000 remaining and this have 26000 remaining so this is our upgraded version of our fee management system hope you like this please do comment and subscribe our channel take care a lot